As this is an in-depth tour of the all-new Mazda CX-30. Towards the front, you've got full LED headlights, as you can see. Looks quite nice. They're also blacked out as well, which is a little nice detail. You've got a completely new grille, very similar on the Mazda CX-5 and the all-new Mazda 3. Very similar. You also have this nice chrome trim that surrounds the outside of the grille here. Towards the front, you also have the adaptive cruise control sensor. So the point of adaptive cruise control is it allows to maintain a safe gap between you and the vehicle in front. So if the vehicle in front slows down, the car will automatically adjust the speed accordingly. Whereas regular cruise control, you have to always adjust the speed once you put your foot on the brake, which is a nice detail. See on the CX-30 you have a little bit of some plastic cladding on the side. The fuel consumption of, of this car is 6.5 litres per 100 kilometres. It's also a 2 litre automatic petrol model. It's also a front wheel drive. Urban 8.0, extra urban 5.6. Let's show you the wheels. So here are your wheels. You can see it's got this really nice finish, very nice detail. So the tyres are Dunlop tyres, Dunlop SP Sport Max tyres. In terms of the tyre size, they are an 18 inch tyre. And in case you're wondering how they in Thailand. Got LED indicators integrated into the side of your mirrors. So that's actually a safety feature, so the actual point of that is it's a lot easier for people to see which way you're going and especially when you're doing lane changes when you've got the indicators mounted on the side of your mirrors because it's within your field of view opposed to having it on the side where you used to see older cars having that so that's actually a safety feature, not just not just the styles, not just the style and things like that Got this nice chrome strip along, along here as well See the sides Show the rear of the car. Got opportunity to show you the key. So this is the key fob. So also very different. Looks very flush. Very professional. Might be a bit hard to see, but you've got LED daytime rain lights as well. It's also fitted with the Skyactiv G engine. Six thirty. You've got four parking sensors integrated into the rear bumper. You also have dual exhausts. And um, they appear to be functional. Some cars have a fake extra exhaust, but this one doesn't look like it seems to be. We have backup camera. Third braking lights. Also has a powered tailgate on this version. Nicely carpeted, got a space over spare tyre, just fitted with the Bose sound system. Got your toolkit. Oh, this, this one here, whoop. But the car locks after 30 seconds, so I've got to stop. It's kind of a little bit annoying, but anyhow, is what it is. Now there's a little handle here, but I press this little button, not handle, button, correction. Seat falls down. And you can see it's relatively flat, but it's also neat. Oh. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Back to me again. So it's really hard to keep the camera in focus. So you can see, again, carpeted. Got a little bit of ridge here. But, let's leave that open to get the extra light. You can see, it's actually nice and wide too. That's one thing I noticed. Also, you don't have much of a ridge here, which makes it easier to slide large cases or suitcases or whatnot. For a bit of some plastic cladding here also to protect your suitcase. Not just the suitcase, but also to protect the paintwork as well. So, step back. Also have some hooks here if you want to tie down large items, or if you have that cargo net, also very useful. 
press this button, see the tail guard electrically closes. Good opportunity to see the side door card, door plastics. Storage there. Show the interior of the all new Mazda CX30. See the seats are all perforated, you can see. It's very nice. Also got some nice brown stitching here. A good bolstering. Powered seats. So slide forward and that increases your I believe your lumbar support yep very cool and yeah very nice so, yeah. so here's the interior of the all-new Mazda CX-30 now I do have the key fob, as you guys know, so I'll just put the keys this year, just turn on. Let me just turn this off. Yep, okay, so this is your this is your display. So you can see the center one is actually a full digital display. It's pretty cool. There you got a little miniature display over there in the top left hand corner that shows the speed limit, which is when you're driving. You have also another one on the left hand side for the rev counter, but the actual dial is is mechanical. And on the right, again, now the digital display with two mechanical um, dials for your temperature gauge. And the right, you can see that it's your fuel gauge, except for the center, which is full digital. So, yep, benefit of that, obviously, is you can display more information. So, you can show maps, things like that. So, it's pretty much why cars are going to that sort of trend now. Pretty cool stuff. So you got a little wrap string wheel. Also got this really nice black stitching here. That's really nice. You can see the, the string wheel has been redesigned, same as the Master 3. Got this really nice detail here. You can see all the buns feel very solid. Adaptive crew control. You've got your pedal shifters, part plus, minus, wipe controls, and your headlight indicator controls to the right. Very nice. Got storage here. Very neat. I might just turn this back on and show you the user interface. There's a home button. Yep, okay, I'll press that. So, very similar to BMW's iDrive. I did do a test, so I don't think there's a touchscreen. See? So, you can, might be hard to see because the camera quality, but I'll do my best anyway. It's not going to do the screen. Entertainment. So, this is fitted with the Maz I mean, Mazda's Bose sound system. So, the quality is pretty nice. So, I'm just doing that because I want to avoid copyright. So you can you can see it's quite nice feedback. You can do it via this little wheel here, navigation. Yeah, so it's not very useful because the um, camera can't pick up, but um, yeah, it's very very nice indeed. But yeah, a bit unfortunate. Can't really show you too much. Now you got climb control, highest temperature. Let's find out. 28.5 looks like it, and the lowest temperature I can go to is 16 degrees. As you can see, it's got some nice feedback. Heated seats. Heated steering wheel. Got one USB port there. Got some storage here. It's got two cup holders. I don't have my cup, my so not my cup, my drink. Now what's happened is I did this is technically a re-upload and I had to scrap that video because too many interruptions. But I did test a 800 milliliter, milliliter bottle that pump one, and it fits here perfect. And believe it or not, fits in here as well, which is actually quite nice and it's a little bit adjustable as well. Door in case the camera overheats. 
Anyway. Got some storage in here as well. USB port, 120 watt power outlet, vinyl shift boots. Same, you got your black trim here. Same as the driver's seat, you got the same uh, seats. Also perforated along with that brown stitching as well. It's very nice. Got a sunglass holder here. Got a vanity mirror. You've got another one here. Got dimension obviously. And obviously you got controls to your lights as well. Dashboard is a vinyl. Looks like it. It's also two-toned. You can see it's brown. Then you got some more of this thin piece of vinyl here. And the vents are also got a little bit of nice chrome over here as well. Got some more silver stitching over here. Vinyl armrest as well. Let's push the seat a bit forward so I can show you the rear seats. So I have a tendency just to touch and feel everything and the main reason is just to show you the quality. So, because that's one thing when you're looking for a car, you want to see how it feels and all that. So I did obviously mention about this in the early, it's all hard plastics here. Whereas the driver's side's got a little thin piece of soft touch materials, or even over here. You've got two Isofix points here to mount a small bay booster. I'll pull the center armrest down, you've got two cup holders here. Also very useful, but you don't have a pass through here, which is a bit fortunate. Again, the seats are also the same as the front. You've got these nice perforated seats, very good for breathing. Also with that nice brown stitching. You've got rear vents, it's also very useful as well. Um, some cars don't, so their conditioning is not as good because they go they go underneath the seat. So you've got one pocket here, no pocket here. Again, you've got some storage here, which I've tested in my other video, which I didn't, I'm not going to upload, which can fit that nice and snug. So, rear visibility is not too bad. You do have a little bit of a blind spot here, but I guess you've got blind spot monitoring system, so I guess that solves that. You've got a little bit of a large transmission tunnel, you can, but you can keep your feet here and here, so I guess it's not too bad. I'll just show you the dashboard from the rear seat all really nice I'll just show you the engine bay So this one is a 2 liter engine, there's one more trim level goes up, and that one I, you get a 2.5 liter engine, it's a little bit bigger, it gives you extra front, oh, there you go, so here's your engine, this is here with the Skyactiv G engine, looks like got an ambulance going in the background. Battery. Air filter for the engine. In case you're wondering, the C630 is made in Japan. Now, this is a Skyactiv-G, I actually wanted to know whether the, if I can find the fuel release, which I think is a push one now, if I can find, sometimes it's a push one, sometimes it's not, yep, yeah, so it's now that, yeah, normally European cars are not push one, so this one looks like you can put E10, which I don't recommend, but um, I guess minimum 91, so that's pretty good, but yeah, pretty cool stuff, because huh. I thought different sort of engine, you have to put premium fuel. 
Well, that's my little walk around of the all new Mazda CX30. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for mistakes during the video. Um, this car is for at Penfold Mazda. I'll leave the details in the description below. And uh, feel free to like, subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.